Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. This is part two of building your own Ned Rig Rod. And in the first video, we went over installing the split grip kit as well as the real seat. Today, we're gonna be using a microwave guide system. So I'm gonna show you how to mark that out on here. Then we're gonna wrap the guides. And then the final part of this video is gonna be putting on the epoxy, showing you how to do all of that. And then you're gonna have your own Ned Rig Rod. All starts right now. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mark out the guides. Now, we're going to be using the microwave guides, the MW20s. I'll put the part number right here for you. And those are my absolute favorite guides to build on a spinning rod. Now, the microwave guides are actually a line management system. It's different than regular guides. So with the microwave system, line, once it's centered through the first guide, will actually go all the way through those guides. You will not have that line slap coming off the reel on every guide so less friction you get a farther cast so to set that up the microwave guides come with their own spacing chart so instead of starting from the tip when i'm putting on microwave guides i actually start from the reel seat you're going to you're going to start from where the spool would be and then i'm going to measure up the first three guides and so my spool is approximately without putting a reel on it is approximately right here where i tighten down the reel seat. So I'm going to take my measurement from there. So when I do it, my first guide is going to be 19 and a half, then the next one's going to be 30 and a half, and then 39 and 7 eighths. That's where I'm going to start. After that, the inside of the card is going to show you the rest of the guides, depending on if you have a six, six and a half, or seven foot guides. So the easiest way to do that is when you go to measure this out, the first one, as we said on here, is 19 and a half. So I would measure 19 and a half up. I'm going to mark it with the grease pencil on here and then I'm going to do that for every progression of every guide until I get to those three. Then I'm going to start at the tip and the first mark on here is two and three quarters. Then I would go back from the tip two and three quarters and follow that guide chart to complete the rest of the guides. Once it's marked, now we're going to wrap them. All right, so here's the first mark on my guide. So I'm going to show you how to do a starter knot. And this is CRB thread carriage. This is great. I can just move this back and forth nice and easy on this pro wrapper here. So I'm going to start just a little bit ahead of this guide. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap it around once. I'm going to wrap it around twice. And then I'm going to wrap it around going toward the end of the rod, like so. I'm going to step on my pedal. Boom, and a, knot, and a knot tightens. Now I'm gonna cut this off right here, and then we're gonna line up the guide and start putting it on. All right, now on the first rod video that we did, we showed you how you can tape off the guide on here, right? And so you can tape it off and you can start going over it. I'm gonna show you another way that I do it, and I understand this is probably gonna drive the professional rod builders crazy, but this is a way that I this is a way that has worked for me, so I'm gonna show it to you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna slip the guide underneath here. Before I do that, I want the center of my guide on that mark is, where that mark is, I know where that's gonna be. So I'm gonna take that off, just like that. Then I'm going to slip the guide underneath here, and then I'm going to start wrapping that one. Okay, there we go. Nice. Now, that's about where I want it. I'm going to take off a little bit more of that mark right there. Get that off. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to line this up here, keep rolling. We'll get some more of this off right here. Okay, there's that. Now what I'm gonna do with this guide is now I'm gonna line it up with the real seat. All right, now that I've got the guide pretty close, the first thing I'm gonna do before I finish off the knot or anything is I'm gonna line it up with the center of my reel seat. And just eyeing it up right now, I can see that guide's pretty good. That's exactly where I want it to be. Now, as we get more guides on there, and then when we're finished, before we do the epoxy, I am gonna use that little uh, reel seat and guide alignment tool, and I'll show you that later. That's gonna fit in the reel seat right here. You tighten it down and then just like looking down a rifle or a pistol, I can line it up. Great little tool, makes it quick, makes it easy, and you know you're right on target. So let's finish wrapping that guide. 
Okay, so now I'm getting ready to tie off that guide and I'm gonna go with a brighter piece of thread. One, it's easier for me, well, the whole reason for it is because it's easier for me to see. So, and that, it's a contrast to what I'm tying with so it stands out a little bit more. It makes it easier for me. And now I'm just gonna go around here. One, two, three, four, five. That should be pretty good. Then I am just gonna cut this right here. And then I am going to stick the tag in through the loop like so. Then I'm going to pull on these two tag ends here. And there you go. You just tie it off your knot. Then you just cut the tag end. And I always try to make this so it's away from the guide. Uh, that's just a preference. There you go. Now there's your first guide just like that. Now you don't need uh, the Pro Wrapper like I have. Mud Hole easily or has a lot of choices for you to choose from. You can start with a hand wrapper. This one, just the more you do it, uh, I really like this Pro Wrapper. That's the first guide. Well, let's go on to the next ones. All right, so now I've got all the guides on here now. So I have installed the guide alignment and real seat alignment tool. So I'm gonna take this off the wrapper here, get that off. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look right down this alignment tool and I can literally point it right at you. Wow, that's actually closer than I thought it was gonna be. That's pretty good. I've got one down there. This makes it so nice and quick. I'm looking right down it. I'm gonna go down here and I've got this one right here that I'm just gonna move a little bit. Wow, that's pretty good. Let me try that one more time. This guide alignment tool is so easy. You can obviously get this at mud hole too, but it really lines everything up. We're good, man, that's it. That's nice and quick. These guides are lined up. Put it back on the wrapper. I'm gonna show you how to mix the epoxy. All right, now we're gonna mix the epoxy and I use the Threadmaster. I really like that, it dries well. And for the first coat on there, they all come with the syringes. I'm gonna take it down to about number one, right on there. And you gotta mix this as a two part. So Here's the first one, press that in there. Pretty quick and simple. Same thing I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna make sure to level it off to one. You wanna make sure it's as close to even parts as possible. About right in there. There's my one there. Boom, that's it. Okay, we got that there. I'm gonna take my mixing stick and I'm gonna mix this up and I'll usually go about 100 one direction and 100 another direction. I'm sure all of you who've built rods before have your way of doing it. And if you wanna comment below, if you find a better way, do you think that's gonna be more efficient for me? Hey, let me know, I'm fine with that. Uh, this has always worked for me and so I'm gonna keep doing it this way. And as I always tell you, the absolute best source for information and education when it comes to rod building is Mudhole. They've got the the more experienced rod builders on there and they give you really strong, solid information. That's where I learned to build rods from. And I hope you're enjoying this. If you do, please subscribe. Please tell your buddies. All we really wanna do is no fluff, no noise, just give you solid information that'll hopefully get you interested in rod building because it's a lot of fun. It's always fun to catch fish. It's even more fun to catch them on rods that you build. And if I can do it, so can you. I'm gonna finish mixing this epoxy. Then I'm gonna show you how to put it under rods is I'm gonna start with an edge on here. And what I mean by that is I'm gonna put the brush right here and I'm gonna try to define an edge for myself just to make the epoxy look when it's done a lot cleaner. So I'm getting close to that edge now. The nice thing about this thread turning a little darker like that is I can really see a good edge on here right now. There we go, getting there. And a lot of times all it takes is just for 
the rotation to complete and now we're getting there and you can always touch it up a little bit too and I can always tell when it, the first layer that I put on there if you notice it's starting to and I always say this, I call it when it, it gets to like a candy look. It, it starts to look really clean. There's no ridges in there or anything. And this is starting to really form well. So instead of going back over it, I'm just going to let that sit for a second and continue the rest of the epoxy on the guide here uh, and just see how it goes. And you can you take your time on this. I mean, the, the slower you are when you first start doing this, the better you're going to be. I used to try to put too much on at one time, and now the more that I've gotten to do it, the better off my finish has gotten. And just like with anything, the more you do it, the better you're going to get at it. And so I'm sure there's better ways out there to do it, I and I always encourage you to, to learn. I learn from people all the time. That's how my wraps have started getting better. And the more of them you do, obviously, the better they're going to get. Now we're getting really close. There, it's getting to be, that's looking pretty good. Let's just see how that sets up for a second. My edge is pretty defined on there. Uh, and if it's not, and I do a little overspray, then I'll take some of the isopropic alcohol, put it on a little piece of paper towel, and just wipe the edge. And I'll keep it as clean as I possibly can. But right now, for the first layer of epoxy, this is looking good. Let's move on to the next guide. All right, now we've completed the first layer of epoxy. I let it dry overnight. So the next thing I'm gonna do is after that's dry, I'm gonna show you how to install the tip top and then we're gonna put on the second layer of epoxy. I usually put on three layers. Some people have heaters and they dry them a lot quicker. I enjoy the process. I let them dry for 24 hours and then put on the next layer and then we'll finish it off. But now, like I said, we're gonna put on, show you how to put on that tip top. We're gonna finish off this rod and you're gonna have a brand new Ned Rig rod. Uh, putting on a tip top is pretty easy. I just put uh, some adhesive on here and all I'm going to do is I'm going to put the tip, the tip top on there like that and just press it into place. I want to make sure that I'm lining it up with the guides right here and I can see everything looks really straight. So I'm just going to press that on there i'm going to let it set up for a bit and then when we put the next coat of epoxy on i'll just epoxy over that just a little bit and that'll give me a good seal and that's my tip top and right, now i'm going to apply the second layer of epoxy and in the first one i took the syringe and i filled it up to about one on the syringe now the second and third coat i'm just going to go about halfway i'm going to do that on five for each bottle right here just a half of the first amount that i put in mix that all together and then i'm going to apply the second coat Just finished with the third layer of epoxy. Now I'm gonna let this dry 24 hours and tomorrow I'm gonna to have a brand new Ned Rig rod. What I like about this rod is the Tiger Wrap that I used dried to a walnut finish and a walnut finish on a copper blank now for me that looks really cool i'm really impressed i'll probably do another rod like this again in the future i hope you enjoyed this video and i can't stress enough that if you really want to get into rod building there's no better place for education and information than mudhole.com i hope you like this video i hope you subscribe because we've got a lot more stuff coming in the future I'm trying to do everything we can to help you get even more involved in rod building because it's as we always say, it's always fun to catch fish. It's awesome to catch fish on a rod that you made. Thanks for watching. I hope you subscribe. Until next time, God bless you. I'm Jim Crowley. See you soon.